Hello, in this video we're gonna check all available gestures and motions on OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite. And to do this we'll need to open a settings, inside go all the way down till you see additional settings. Now select gestures and motions, you will need to allow some permissions and inside there's a lot of different options. First one is screen of gestures. If you enter it, there's a new uh, tab with uh, many different options again, and I'm gonna cover it at the end of the video, so let's move through all of them right here. First is swipe down with three fingers to take a screenshot, and it works like this. Next is touch and hold with three fingers to take a screenshot. And now we can do the partial screenshot. Air gestures, control your phone with hand gestures without touching a screen and if you enable it you can learn uh, different gestures right here. So to answer or decline a call, hold the back of your hand up to the screen with fingers pointed down, hold your hand 20 to 40 centimeters away from the front camera and keep it still for 1 to 2 seconds. So I think it should work like this. So you need to point at a specific um, answer or decline a call to answer or decline it. Hold the palm of your hand up to the screen with fingers pointed up like this. And this will mute your call. And that's basically all of them in uh, air gestures. Next is raise to wake. If you enable it and uh, lock your phone, you can pick up your phone and it should wake up. And let's check it out. Yep, it wakes up without pressing any buttons on uh, touching a screen. Lift to ear to answer a call, so if you receive any call and lift your phone to your ear, it will answer it automatically. And if you enable auto switch to receiver, it will do the same thing as with lift to ear, but if you're using a receiver. Next is flip to mute incoming calls, and if you put your phone upside down like this onto the table, uh, it will mute all incoming calls automatically. Now let's move on to the screen of gestures. And here we have double tap to wake up or turn off screen. And if we lock our phone, we can double tap to unlock it and double tap to lock it back. Next is draw O to open a camera, draw V to turn on flashlight and a music control. Let's cover this, all of the three features at once. And <clears throat> we need to lock our phone, draw O to open a camera, draw V to turn on a flashlight, draw V again to turn it off. Keep in mind that your screen needs to be uh, blacked out, otherwise it won't work. And the music control works like this, so if you want to post music, draw a pause button. Uh, I mean draw the pause uh, sign, I guess. If you want to play next track, draw arrow to the right. If you want to play previous track, draw an arrow to your left. And uh, that's all of the three features. Now in the more we have uh, three different gestures, there's arrow up, M and W. These uh, features work kind of same way, so you need to enable them. Or first we'll need to add uh, the action, so click on the feature, like uh, draw arrow up, and pick which uh, uh, function it will work as. So you have unlock, call, or open a specific app. In this case, let's go for an app and here we want to enter settings. Now enable it 
and if we lock our phone and draw arrow pointing up it will ask us for a password and if we unlock our phone it will open or make a specific action and all of these three features work kind of same way as I mentioned so you just need to pick a action for it and that's it for this video hope you like it please consider subscribing to our channel leave a like and a comment below